So this past weekend, I went to go watch Deadpool and Wolverine. And I got to be very honest with you. It was actually very good. Let's get into the video. What is up, guys? It's your boy, Hercules, and we are back with another video. So this past Thursday, I went to go watch Deadpool and Wolverine, a early, I guess you could say early showing of the movie. And the movie theater was sold out from 3 p.m. to, oh, I think the last one was 1 a.m. that they were having a showing. They were sold out. So I was very surprised by that. I know I saw a lot of people saying that their theaters were sold out. And I even saw some people say that they were half sold out or not sold out. I think it just depends on where you live. Some people might more, there might be more people invested in stuff like that. There might not be. But to me, Deadpool Wolverine was a phenomenal film. Would I say it's a masterpiece? No. Will I say it's a solid film? Yes, it's a very solid film with a very thin plot, but it's not really about the plot. You're not going to go watch this movie for the for the storyline of these two characters. You're going to go see this movie for the body, for the best friend slash rivalry slash comic book cameos that you're going to get in this movie. And that is exactly what you get. You get Hugh Jackman and Ryan Reynolds playing off each other as Deadpool and Wolverine. You get an iconic battle scenes. You get multiple cameos. This movie did what it had it to do. Is it better than No Way Home? No, but it's definitely up there, especially with all the crap we've gotten from Marvel Studios. Is this film going to save the MCU or the MCU? Absolutely not. This film is a love letter to the Fox MCU, but it's also a FU to Fox because Fox never really believed in the whole Deadpool. They never believed in Ryan Reynolds. They never believed that Deadpool can become a franchise type of character. And well, they're proven wrong but yes this is a love letter to the fox uh franchise or universe i guess you can say um expect a lot of cameos from previous films from fox uh expect a lot of wolverine movie uh cameos and other actors playing wolverine Aside from that, man, this film was what it needed to be and what I wanted it to be. A film about Ryan Reynolds being Deadpool, which was phenomenal. A film about Hugh Jackman returning as the Wolverine, which was phenomenal. A bunch of funny jokes. Some landed, some didn't. And just some great fucking action, man. This film did everything I wanted it to do. And sometimes it even did more. That opening sequence, if, if you get the opportunity to watch it in theaters with some people, that the roof is gonna go nuts. Especially one cameo in there with a certain actor blew me away. But yes, this movie is filled with action, funny jokes, uh, makes a lot of funny jokes of Marvel Studios, which is beautiful. Um, also hits at Disney. It's a phenomenal film, man. You gotta go watch this movie in theaters. Don't do yourself injustice by watching it at a Disney Plus streaming. Don't do that. Watch it in theaters with a bunch of other fans and trust me, you're going to come out of this having a lot of fun. Overall, I think it's a solid film. I think it's a very good film. Um, if I would have to put a rating on it, I would give it a 8 out of 10. Let me know what you guys think of Deadpool and Wolverine, and I'll catch you guys on the next video.